Welcome to our unboxing video. We're going to be unboxing the 3D iPad scanner for Ford Motion Lab. When you get the scanner in the mail, this is what it'll look like. It comes in a box like this. You have your structure scanner, brand new iPad from Apple, and the scanner charger lightning cord and screwdriver in case any of the screws on the back get loose. Important thing to remember is that the iPad and the structure scanner both have a battery, so each needs to be plugged in and charged every night. Um, the battery should last about a week, but we say charge them nightly just to be safe so you don't um, have a dead battery when it comes time to scan a patient. Now that you've got your iPad all set up, um, I'll show you how to assemble the parts and get started. So first, take your iPad, find the camera, and your bracket's gonna mount, it's gonna slide on and you're gonna line up this hole here with the camera on the back of the iPad. So it slides on just like that, and then clamp it closed. Then you're gonna take your white lightning cable, plug it in here, plug it into the bottom of the iPad, and that's it. Now remember, both need to be charged, the iPad charges here, and the lightning uh, and the structure sensor charges right here. Using the scanner app, it's just an application you'll download from the iTunes store. The, you search in the iTunes store for forward motion medical or forward motion medical orthotics and the app looks just like this here. When you open it up, it takes you to the home page. You have these three options, new scan, safe scans and track past order. New scan is obviously how we're gonna start a new scan. Safe scans is a folder that holds all the scans you've taken and all the, the scans you've sent. So this way, if a patient is unsure if they want orthotics or um, if you're waiting for insurance clearance, you can keep the, the scans on your iPad um, and then send them when, when you're ready to send them. The track past orders button, it logs you onto our database. That button will not be active until you've sent your first scan and then call and you can get a username and password for that. And that will basically show you where your orthotics are at, um, give you tracking numbers for shipping, let you see the PDFs of your prescription forms and reorder second pairs. Okay, so we're gonna start with the new scan button. Click new scan and it's gonna take you to the patient uh, information page. You'll need to fill out everything with a red asterisk. So I'm just gonna put test in each of these. Say it's a male, size 10, 175 pounds. Okay, these other categories here are optional. Um, just fill them out if you think it's something we need to know. For example, if they're elderly or young, um, if you have multiple physicians, it's important to list which physician is placing the order. Um, and then any comments you have about the patient, you can put them here. Okay, when you're ready, press next. And it takes us to the scan page. Um, so let's scan a foot. All right, now that we've begun scanning, you can see a white box appears. We're gonna position the foot in the center of the white box and move about two and a half feet away until the foot's highlighted in red. If we're too far away, the highlight will be yellow, and if we're too close, the highlight will disappear. Okay, once we have that nice glowing red, we'll hit start, and the plantar surface of the foot will cover in plaster. And then we begin to move around the cube that the foot's located in, and you'll see as, it, as we move it, it fills in with plaster. As the camera can see more and more, it's filling in those images. Um, want to move slowly and steadily and keep the camera pointed at the foot at all times. If we move too close while scanning, the foot will highlight in red. That means that we should back up. Okay, so remember, starting a scan, red is good. During a scan, red is bad. I'm going to grab the lateral side. And then I'm going to grab the heel. Okay. Then I'll press the done button once everything's covered in plaster. Okay, now this step's very important. We're gonna review the, the scan. So using your finger, you can pan to the left and right. Make sure all the arch data is there, all the lateral data, and make sure we have good information on the heel. 
You do not need to worry about the top of the foot. We don't need that information to build an orthotic. If all that looks good, press the save button and scan the next foot. Okay, now that we have our scans, you can see that new buttons appeared. We have the mark left cast and the mark right cast option. Um, these options will allow you to mark ulcers on the foot, lesions, um, if there's a pressure point, you can circle it or draw an arrow to it. You can also take a picture of the foot and send it to the lab. We can go more into detail on these features here um, in the future, but for now, just know they're there. Also, if one of these scans doesn't quite look correct, you can see it says rescan left foot and rescan right foot. Click those buttons and you can overwrite the scan and try again. So, Right here on our catalog, you can see a list of all the devices we have. Um, they're all lab standard devices. So if I click the functional category and select the FM functional, you can see it gives me a device with lab standards. To move to the next screen, you must select one, but on the next screen, you'll be able to adjust anything from there. Um, sometimes the lab standard will be fine and you won't need to do any additional accommodations. For example, this is a rigid shell with a 12 millimeter hill cup. Um, it has an extrinsic heel post on it, um, made of crepe. So it kind of gives you a little rundown of the device here, and also here a description of what, what the device is best used for. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select the FM Functional. It's one of our most popular devices. Like I said, you can scroll down, and there's all sorts of other devices. You know, an athletic category, diabetic, dress, and we'll kind of show you the different options here. But we'll, we'll stick with the Functional. When you're ready, let's push the next button. Okay, now this is our prescription form. This has, um, this, is, this is mirrored after our standard prescription form, the one that you're used to using. It has the categories, shell materials, cast and grind, posting, covering, accommodations, and notes. Um, click on one of these to open them up. And here you can just select different um, device types, accommodations. So for example, let's say we wanted to make this shell graphite. I would just select the graphite button. Um, scrolling down, sorry about that, scrolling down. Um, say we wanna change the covering length. We want it to be a full length device with a neoprene cover. So very easy to use. Important is this notes and additional items. If there's anything on here you don't see, you can mark it in the notes or you can mark in there to have us give you a call and we can go over what you need. When you're ready, you'll press the next button. Okay, this is the summary screen. This goes over a list of all the different, um, this, this gives us a rundown of the device we ordered and all the different accommodations. So we have shell material, cast and grind, the coverings um, listed here. Uh, if that all looks good to you, you can hit the confirm and send button and it'll instantly send to the lab. Or this one, because it's not a real pair, I'm gonna click the save for later button and that will just put it into the save for later folder. So you see, I can click the save scans. Here's all my, my scans that I've done. I can go review them at any time, edit them or send them. Going back to the homepage, just a couple more things I wanted to go over. The setting button has two options. Reset put profile will delete all scans. Um, be careful with this because it will delete all your save scans as well. Stuff that we have not yet received at the lab. Um, it's just there if you're gonna switch iPads or um, for some reason, maybe you're, a different doctor will be using it. The edit profile button, this is how you'll put your shipping address in there, your phone number, different information you want us to have. This information is printed on every prescription form, so make sure it's accurate. And it's this checkbox here, it's an email notification of uh, the prescription form. So if you want a copy of every prescription form whenever you send a scan, check that box and it will send you a, a filled out prescription form to your email that you can use, you know, the PDF for your um, records. Your, you can either print them or attach them digitally to your digital records. Thanks for joining us. We're excited you purchased the iPad scanner. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Our phone number is 435-251-8500. Thanks.